So we're here this morning um, with my new friend Dean. Uh, he's a PhD at uh, Superior Safaris. I met them last week and just exciting to be building new relationships in the area and uh, concessions for the future because uh, we can't um, just focus on, on one place. We've got to look around and um, see what's available. So um, beautiful overcast, so it's perfect for, for walking and stalking. And um, we're going to be walking around and looking for um, hopefully a big kudu bull because um, I've heard they, they have them here, which is quite exciting. Um, but he said there's also um, some games back around. Um, so, like you said the first day, you know, you might be looking for one thing and something else you be flexible. draws your attention. So, uh, yeah. we'll just walk its beautiful mountain up there and um, we'll just be glassing along the mountain as well. And excited. Thanks one, for. One other thing. Yeah. If you see this guy on the beach, you don't want to kick sand on it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, thanks. Thanks, Dean, for it is a pleasure. showing well, us around. Sand, of course. <laughs> <laughs> cool. After a good few hours of walking and seeing some Impala ewes, wildebeers and tessabees, we saw another big warthog, but we couldn't see his tusks. We got Brian on the sticks, ready to pull the trigger, only to find that it was a big sow.
<laughs> I don't want to walk anymore today. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, it is, uh, it is just before 11 and we've walked 10 kilometers. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's about what, 15 miles? So, um, I mean, wow. I just saw, I just saw, yeah. as we were coming up, I just saw this black yeah, mass dark, and then I saw the, the white yeah. over the back and sure enough, it was him. He looks big from here. Yeah. I don't think there's going to be ground changes. <laughs> There. I know, I know. Looking good. What an awesome shot. I mean, just in the, in the thick stuff, and you saw a little clearing. Um, you know, about an hour earlier, we saw another bull. And, um, man, I think, uh, <laughs> this one is more impressive. <laughs> yeah. And Dean, you, you said you've seen this one around. Oh, man, beautiful. I love about this is these ivory tips. Yeah. 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 Well, Brian, I have never seen a bull like this. Maybe only in Kruger National Park or something. <laughs> but um, what a beauty. How do you feel? Man, I'm super excited. I have been hunting over here for probably 25 yeah. plus years. Yeah. And uh, I've only seen one bull yeah. bigger than this one. Yeah. And uh, that was a farm pet. Yeah. Uh, this is a wild one. And uh, this is the biggest one. I mean, I we saw one earlier. Yeah. And uh, I kind of got on him a little bit. Yeah. And he was huge. Yeah. I, I was like, that's a shooter. That's one of the biggest bulls I've ever seen. But yeah. this one's four to five inches, maybe six inches bigger than, yeah. than uh, yeah. that uh, one that we almost shot. Yeah. One thing many people don't know about the Nyala is that it's the only um, antelope species where the male is a bull and the female is a ewe and not a cow. Okay. Um, and I think one of the biggest reasons they say is because they look so different, mm. you know, the, mm. the real dark um, color, a um, lot bigger, the male and the female, mm. you know, the female's got that, yeah. we, saw, we saw them, um, you know, earlier, the light brown, a lot smaller, no horns, so they just look so different. Um, yeah. So that's why the bull is the, the male is the bull and the female is the ewe. Um, that's kind of where the split comes and anything bigger is bull, anything smaller is. Yeah. You, so. It's, it's gonna look good funny. on your wall. I know, I'm excited. <laughs> well, good. It's beautiful. Place. And we needed to carry it because we didn't want to drag it out to the road to mess up the cape. So it's gonna look impressive. You know, impressive. The, the funny thing is, is like uh, I'm learning as I get older that um, a lot of time opportunities in anything, yeah. in relationships, uh, hunting, fishing, all that. A lot of times when you think that uh, well, it's over, it's not mm. gonna happen, or man, I sure am disappointed. Mm. It's because God has something better for yeah. you. Yeah. And we definitely got blessed with this bull. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so glad that the opportunity didn't turn into success yeah. on the other one. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I'm, I'm very happy. Yeah. I'm, I'm so glad that, uh, yeah. so glad this happened. Yeah. He's, he's beautiful. <laughs> he this is. is the second biggest bull I've ever seen really? in my life. Wow.
After a great three days of staying at Chikwaru, we moved to the ranch where we hunted on the first day and we spent the last two nights there. We had another wonderful braai and had some of the wildebeest and blesbok fillets from the previous day's hunt. We found another herd of zebra and Brian took a great shot on a stallion, but we needed to track it in a quick push. Luckily we had a great team working together. It finally took four bullets to take down the zebra. You took a great shot. Um, we all thought it's going to drop right there. We started tracking it. We got good blood, good, a good trail, but it kept staying ahead of us yeah. the whole time. Yeah. Um, went to the end of the trail, mm. and then uh, we found fresh blood, mm. and which means he was moving he was around. Running. Yeah. We uh, saw he... he was staying ahead of us the whole time. What I noticed is that he was keeping us in his wind. Yeah. Definitely. We could, he could smell us and know exactly where we were. Yeah. And so we came up with a really good plan that I think was from the Lord. Mm. And that was to let the trackers keep on tracking. Mm. And then when he cut the road, we mm. would take him at the road. Yeah. And that's exactly what happened. And yeah. then you finished it off, yeah. made two brilliant shots. Yeah. And then still had his head up. I took the last <laughs> shot right through the heart. Yeah. So we put four bullets in this, how tough these animals are. Yeah. 
Um, yeah. Right there, there's about a quart of blood yeah. still left that just poured out right yeah. just now. Yep. Yeah. So he still had a lot of blood in him, even though he the left a lot of blood on the trail. Yeah. So these these animals they are tough, are man. Tough. You know, you say in Texas, you grow them big. Yeah. In you Africa, grow we tough. grow them tough. <laughs> That's why you don't use shoulder pads and pads in rugby and our yeah. football players. They they use all the uh, equipment they yeah. can put on. Oh man. Yeah. This was worth it. The long chase, <laughs> the tracking. Yeah. I learned yeah. some incredible things from yeah. Christopher and his team about tracking. I yes. Mean, yes. Just incredible. Those Look, guys stay of blood. and they look for, I mean, even the smallest drop of blood or splash. Uh, they're keeping all kinds of factors yeah. in their in their mind. Yeah. And uh, looking for broken branches, mm. looking for fresh prints. Yeah. Uh, and and keeping in mind whether there's two prints or one print, whether one split yeah. off, uh, they're, they're on it. They're on it. Incredible. That's their gift. Yeah. And they're great at it. God's incredible. given them an incredible gift. Yeah. If it wouldn't have been for these guys, yeah, we wouldn't have found this zebra. Yeah. So. <laughs>